Paul Dworn is one of the most popular novelists in Maine. He writes about a game warden turned warden investigator named Mike Bowditch. His latest book is Almost Midnight. It's his 10th novel. Paul Dworn back with us on 207. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Always good to be here. It's a milestone. 10 novels. I like to think that when you wrote the last page on this one, you cracked open a fine bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> More like I collapsed out of <laughs> exhaustion. Seriously, how does it feel? I mean, that is a good run. It is a good run, and it's, you know, totally incomprehensible to me that I, <laughs> I've written 10 books in 10 years, but uh, it's, it's highly motivating when you have a deadline every year and a, a check waiting, you know. That'll do it. That'll get mm. your butt into the chair. It will. get you looking <laughs> at the screen. Uh, you know, now that you've done 10 novels for this one, for this particular one, Almost Midnight, were you sort of working hard to come up with an idea, or did the basic idea for the book come pretty easily? The idea came easily because I have all these recurring characters in the novels and people are constantly asking me, well, when are you going to bring Billy Cronk back or Kathy Frost or all these characters? And I wanted to, you know, to have a novel where people pop up from Mike's past. This is one of the characters whom you did bring back, Billy yes. Cronk. What's the basic story, or at least how does the story begin with this novel? Billy Cronk is in prison for manslaughter. He's Mike's best friend, but Mike was the chief witness that put him in prison uh, because he could not disobey his oath. And we're off and running As at that we're point. off and running, yes. All right, I know that you like to do research, even though you're mm -hmm. writing fiction, and you like to get the details as accurate as you can. There's an element uh, in this book that takes place in Maine prisons. What did you do to research jails and prisons in Maine? Well, I've been in a few uh, <laughs> for professional purposes. <laughs> just as a guest. <laughs> yes, just as a guest, not as a guest of the state. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, and I've talked to, to guards and uh, other people in corrections, sheriffs and that sort of thing. Um, you know, sometimes, too, I also want to have a little bit of a distance from the actual institution because I don't want people to feel like I'm, you know, parodying an actual person or... Like writing a novel. It doesn't have to exactly. be. You, you don't want it to exactly track right. real life. Another element in this book, wolves. Yes. What's your interest in wolves? Um, I've always had an interest in wolves as, a, <laughs> as from a little boy, but <laughs> but I introduced this, this wolf dog in an earlier book, and it was just meant to be a throwaway. Um, I mean, a, a, you know, the wolf was going to disappear. And then I got literally dozens of letters saying, when is the wolf dog coming back? When is the wolf dog coming back? And I realized, geez, people are pretty passionate about this and maybe I should you know, do some uh, additional research and, and look at bringing him back. It can be pretty lonely to just sit at your desk for hours a day writing. What is it like when you get feedback from readers? No matter what they say, how does that make you feel when someone takes the time to write you a note? Well, almost always it's great. Uh, you know, occasionally, yes, you get the, the typo, um, you know, emails and things, but it, I'm really blown away by the fact that somebody will sit down and, and t yeah, take the time to find me, you know, on the web and, and send me a note and say, you know, your books are really important to me. I mean, wow, I didn't expect that. You received a, a nice honor recently you got a nomination for an Edgar Award, mm -hmm. which is really the highest accolade in the field of crime fiction, not for a novel, but for one of your short stories, a mm -hmm. short story called Rabbit. Mm -hmm. That kind of blew you away, didn't it? It, it? Yeah, it really did, because I don't consider myself to be a short story writer. This was something like a passion project. I wanted to write about uh, rabies in humans. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, and sort of just did it for myself and, you know, kind of made sure it got out there. And, and then when it was announced that it was a finalist, I, I, I was really blown away, yeah. Are you already at work on novel number 11 in the I, Mike Bowditch oh, series? Oh, I have to be, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I will go home tonight and probably put in a few more hours. All right. It's one that all your fans are going to be looking forward to. Paul Duaron, always a pleasure to have you here. Thank Thanks you so much. Again, the name of the book, Almost Midnight. We've got more information on Paul, his upcoming appearances, and other information about the book on our website, the 207 section of vcentermain.com. And stick around. We're going to be right back.